for sure we are intuitive beings yeah? but somehow in our in our conditioning we seem quite often to have been trained to rely on sort of process thinking and you know kind of figuring things out and treating life like it's a strategy you have to live life with a strategy and you have to have a work plan and you have to plan things there are some people that uh, if there's a diary for 2015 it's already full of uh, they know exactly what they're going to do on the 20th of August you know, 2025 or whatever there's these type of tendencies you know so um the one thing you need to do is simply to come to the clear recognition of what is here like i say this is a mortal body but an immortal being is dwelling in it and it is uh, in this body it seems the game is for it to recognize itself you know because it picks up some conditioning some ideas about itself and consider itself to be something of a limitation and true experiences in life it's returning to its original self knowing once this is become clear for you all the doubts all the fears will fall away you will see your life as a blessing in every moment in every moment you will have this attitude if everything culminates right here if it doesn't go beyond this day this moment it's okay is good enough as it is you see not waiting for it to arrive at a sort of a projection or projected state that you think yes i want it to be like this and there's a freedom in this and here is the opportunity to to come to that recognition everything i speak is about this not less than this that everything everything because it's so much so many things can engage your mind to go to different different departments in life to try and how do i do this how do i do that i only come to tell you find out who you are find out what it is that dwells in this body and once you have this urge the whole universe is helping you I, that's what it feels like for me when i came home from india last year i I, I kind of sat back on the sofa of life and and finally trusted and yeah. and and suddenly it was so much easier. <laughs> yes. And yeah, it was lovely. It is a super easy. <laughs> It's super easy because somehow you find that if you are moving in life without a uh, a plan. Yes, because uh, the plans is sometimes a little bit of a taste of fear in them. But when you are again in your natural home not to your home in yourself then you will not need any walking sticks any something is just so fresh you so space so much space and it, it, there's a natural trust and a recognition that whatever is needed it is uh, arising spontaneously to meet whatever the needs of the moment are and you see it you do see it and then somehow something relaxes into that deeper trust that i don't have to plan anything at all and what a relief what a relief you see something comes of course you have to use your mind of course for some things practical things also and things things through you can think you can have thoughts you're not afraid of them now you see because you're not have a, any psychological confusion about thoughts so then you are very free with thoughts You see also some of the masters they're reading the newspapers and stuff like this and, and having a laugh and so on but they're not drinking things in in quite the same way it's not feeding into a kind of pattern of fear and you know, projecting what's going to happen if this happens what's going to they don't think like this at all so therefore they are the best readers of the newspaper I think I I finally let my mind um take second place gotcha. when i came home and when um i uh if i found myself in an environment which 
I intuitively knew I didn't like on some level or what I didn't feel was good for me my mind would normally have said but well, you've got to stay you know it'd be rude if you left and you can't and, and now I just go uh, yes. no this is not for me yes. um, so I'm I'm I'm, I'm very grateful for Must be much freer. Of course. Of course. Just walk away from it. You don't have to do any forensic on your thinking. Just move on. Thank you so much, Rudy. <laughs> very good. Oh.